Hey friends, what's up? Kaz here. We're gonna get right into it. Welcome back to another admin of us or a tutorial of Essentials X. And we're gonna talk specifically about kits in this for Essentials X. Now, uh, Essentials X actually adds the create kit um, test and then a delay of 15 seconds. And that will actually give you a link that you can then copy and paste that into your configuration and automatically create that kit. I find it useful just to go into the config and create your kits in there. Before they even get started with kits, you need essentials.kit in order to be able to even access the kit command. And then your players need essentials.kits.kit name in there as well. And then if you want to exempt people from the delays, essentials.kits.exempt delay. You can also run commands in your kits, which is great. And then using the, uh, the command charging for using commands, you can actually charge people for running kits as well which is pretty slick. So let's talk about um, the kits that are in there. So we only have, we have a few of them. We can do show kit and then look at that. And then we can do kit tools in order to run that. And that will give us all of those kits in there. Let's create our own with the command, jump over to the config and take a look. The config file is huge. We're gonna scroll all the way down to the kits section here. It's in the 200s here. And uh, it's pretty straightforward. They have a lot of great examples in here, but we're going to show you guys how to do the command section. So we're gonna copy and paste this in, and then we're gonna show, let's call this test, or actually we're gonna show, call this command. And then we're gonna put a delay of 10 seconds, and we're actually gonna remove all of these items. So to add items, you're gonna do the item ID space, and then the amount that you wanna do, unless you wanna do a command. Then we're gonna do me, and then player this is a test so the great thing about being able to run a command like this is that you can tie in kits with every other plugin like token and chance uh, crates all that stuff you can give that stuff through kits in essentials which is fantastic um, if you want to give players uh, enchanted items in here then you put the enchantment id colon and then the enchantment level in there once again you do have to scroll down and find that allow unsafe enchantments if you want to do greater than the default enchantment so if you want to give them an efficiency 10 you need to enable unsafe enchantments before you do any of that you have a name then you have your lore in here which i believe this pipe means it's going to be the next line in that lore which is great you can change the color as well and that's about it like i said kits are pretty easy the Essentials X does have that built-in command to automatically build the kit for you. So you basically just put everything on you that you want in that kit, and then it'll automatically build out that kit. But then you have to still copy that into your configuration file and reload Essentials. So let's show you guys how this works. So we can do show kit command. Now it's not really going to show a whole lot, but if we do kit command, you can see that it runs that slash me command as myself. And then it says, this is a test. So that broadcasts to all players, like I'm talking, it's kind of like if you want to talk in the third person. So you can run those commands in there, or you can do the uh, kit notch, and you can get the notch head, which is pretty cool. Or uh, let's see, we can do kit D tools. Now you can see that we have those um, enchanted items now you can see that diggy diggy hole the pipe command tells it to do a new line so that's it for kits like i said pretty straightforward um you want to turn on you want to give people different permission nodes in order to access these correctly other than that you're up and running this is cause reminding you guys all enjoy the game god bless